As I look back over my life And see where I have been Jesus, I praise you That I'm not stuck in sin But way down in my spirit One praise is not So I lift my hands and give you praise for everything you do.
Hello, 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 everyone, 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 everyone. Hello, how are you doing? Sharice Johnson Moore here, your hope builder, lifting you out of your sorrow by guiding you to see Christ within through scripture and practical applications. I am here to give you a new word this morning for daily devotional. And when I mean new word, I mean new word. Okay? We start in the chapter of Joshua, in the book of Joshua. And as you know, Joshua is the new uh, new man of God has chosen for the children of Israel. Joshua, yes, Joshua, okay? And Joshua got a lot of stuff on his hands, right? So... Let's get started with Joshua chapter 1, 1 through 18. Joshua chapter 1, 1 through 18. So get your books, your Bibles, your tablets, your cell phones, get your notebooks, and get your coffee, your tea, whatever you may be drinking, right? We're going to get into this word. We're going to really get into this, this new book, into this new new book in this new book that we are starting with today the book of joshua 1 1 through 18 okay come on now let's get busy All right, let's get busy with Book of Joshua, chapter 1, 1 through 18. And it reads, Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, Go over this Jordan, thou and all this people, unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. From the wilderness and this Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and unto the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be your coast. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life, as I was with Moses. So I will be with thee, I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Be strong and of good courage. For unto this people shalt thou divide for an inheritance the land, which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law, which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither 
Neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whether, whether soever thou goest. Then Joshua commanded the officers of the people, saying, Pass through the host, and command the people, saying, Prepare your vessels, for within three days ye shall pass over this Jordan to go in to possess the land which the Lord your God giveth you to possess it. And to the Reubenites, and to the Gedites, and to half the tribe of Manasseh, spake Joshua, saying, Remember the word which Moses, the servant of the Lord, command you, command you, saying, The Lord your God have given you rest, and have given you this land. Your wives, your little ones, and your cattle shall remain in the land which Moses gave you on this side, Jordan. But ye shall pass before your brethren armed, all the mighty men of valor, and help them. Until the Lord have given your brethren rest, as he have given you, and they also have possessed the land which the Lord your God giveth them, then ye shall return unto the land of your possession, and enjoy it, which Moses the Lord's servant gave you on this side, Jordan, towards the sunrising. And they Answer Joshua, saying, All that thou commandest us we will do, and whithersoever thou sendest, sendest us we will go, according as we hearken unto Moses in all things. So will we hearken unto thee. Only the Lord thy God be with thee, as he was with Moses, whosoever he be that doth rebel against thy commandment, and will not hearken unto thy words in all that thou commandest him, he shall be put to death, only be strong and of a good courage. I have read Joshua chapter 1, 1 through 18. Oh, dear Heavenly Father, we come to you for guidance. We thank you for everything that you have given us, all the things that you have blessed us with, just from opening our eyes this morning, from the breath in our bodies and activity of our limbs, and we are in our right minds just for the day, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us just this day. Give us our daily bread. Give us, forgive us our trespasses, and we forgive those that trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power, the glory forever. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, all right, all right. Let's deep dive into this man. Let's deep dive into this man, okay? So, we see that Joshua is given the new leadership role of the children of Israel because Moses has passed. And Joshua is time for him to put on his big boy. Uh, uh, pants, his big boy pants, and he has to lead the children of Israel over into Jordan. Okay, and his first assignment is to get them across Jordan, get them across Jordan over into the land that God has promised them. Okay, and he says, you know. You know, God give him this conversation, say, look, okay, look, Moses gone. Time you put your big boy pants on and come on and let's do this, okay? This is the land that I promised you for, uh, you know, promised you uh, for your fathers, you know, for your forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, okay? And Moses, Moses, has sadly passed away. 
you know, and it's, and it's, and this is a, this, this, this <laughs> remind me of whenever you get somebody, somebody to pass away, when someone passes away, that's an elderly in your family and it goes to the next person, whether it be that child, that elderly person's son, daughter, whoever, you know, grandchild, whoever it goes to, the responsibility falls on the person behind them, Right. And and this person is given a leadership role in your family and things of that nature, right? And everybody has to look up to this person. And they're wondering, they're, in some ways, people wonder, can you handle leadership when you're given it? You can be promised, and you can be cajoled, and you can say, you know, my grandma used to tell me all the time, well, you know you're going to get all my stuff when I die, and you're going to you're gonna do this, and this will be yours, and all this, this, that, and the third. And, I'm, and I was like, okay, grandma, I mean, she used to tell me that as a little kid, okay, because my grandmother raised me from a baby. So she would tell me all her possessions would be mine, okay? And... It would always make me wonder why would she want to pick me over my father? Cause my, you know, my father's her son, and I kind of understood. I, I kind of now I'm older, now I understood why she did what she did, and why things end up the way they ended up. Okay, and when you are given a leadership role, everybody got their eyeballs on you. This is this is the scripture. This is this scripture right here is saying, look, this is your job. You have to lead them and you have to have to do what the Lord say when you step into a leadership role. Whenever you are given a leadership role, you are you got you under a microscope, man. You under a microscope that you didn't think you would be up under, but you are. Because you have some big, some, sometimes it may feel like, like if say, say, I'll give you an example. Say the pastor of the church passed away and now it's time for uh, someone new to come in and, uh, you know, new leadership, new, new, new assignment, a new pastor, a new bishop, a new whatever the role may be. And you come in church and you a newbie and ain't nobody never heard of you and, other, you know. And you got to prove your, and then you you might feel like you have to prove yourself to people in this leadership role because you might feel pressure in this role. You might feel um, overwhelmed in this new, new role. But God says that you need to depend on me. Don't worry about the people. You just need to do what I say do. See, and that's what what lead it, that's what our leadership that's what our leadership some our leadership has sometimes forgotten. We too big don't get in don't I'm telling you. If God leading you to do something certain when you are a new leader doing something new, follow God. Don't follow these people out here that's talking about well you should do it like this. And they ain't even got a business themselves. Okay? They ain't they ain't leading a horse to water, okay? And um, you have to stay in the will of God. Stay in his face day and night when you receive this leadership role. Because people that don't lead will lead you right down. They, lead, they will lead you to damnation sometimes because they don't understand all the... Um, Particulars of leadership. They never led a horse to water. They have never even uh, uh, straightened up their account books, their checkbooks. Nevertheless, trying to lead somebody. Okay. Um, and what God is telling Joshua, you need to stand with me. You need to let. You need to come to me night and day and talk to me about everything. If you have questions, if you have, if you want answers, if you want to be led right, because sometimes we get that and 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 oh, 
I don't want to say this. Leadership is not making, getting, you get to this position and you making people feel small. Never do that to people that you have to lead. Never make, never let them, never make them feel small. Make them feel included in your leadership. See, Joshua goes out and tells the children of Israel, this is what's going to happen and we're going to do this. He includes everybody in the conversation. And that's one thing about leadership. Leadership is about sharing and and sharing and about uh, assigning or, uh, you know, assigning certain jobs to people or um, showing that you in it together. Everybody is in this together. Not We're not separate and I'm not better than you. And you, and, and you know, you, you know, leadership is about inclusion also. It's not about getting big headed. Now I got the title now and I think I'm all that, <laughs> you know, and I could, I could talk to people any kind of way and I, no, cause you will run people off with that. I have seen it in the church millions of times that I go to a church and the pastor is got something to say about the way the women dress. Or about, uh, or, uh, uh, you know, about how things are going on in the church and, and what the person do. And, and the worst thing, of, uh, worst thing of, uh, leadership in a leadership role, we never get into talking about our members to one to other members. Please don't do that. These are the things, you know, if, if we got something to dispute or something, if we got a disagreement, we come in the office and we talk about it. Come in the office, me, the party, the two, the, maybe the people that, that do not agree with each other. Me, you, the, pat, the leadership, and that, the two people that have the disagreement and come in the office and sit down and talk about it. And then don't go out and air that stuff to your congregation. Ooh, child. Okay? That's something I've learned. Oh, I, I have learned that. You know? Everything, everything that's discussed in the pastor's office don't need to be out in the congregation. Okay? You know? And leadership requires you to have a certain dignity about yourself. Leadership is about loving people, not dogging them and talking about them or using them because they're congregants. I'm, I'm, giving, you, I'm giving you some stuff today. I'm going to give it to you because leadership is about loving other members and leadership is not being in everybody's business trying to control them after they leave your church. About permission and they need this and I know you can't do this and no, you can't hang around that person. If that person want to go on smoke crack, okay, th- your job is to get them a sermon, minister to them, and if they come to you for help, then you talk to them, but if they don't put your don't go off and put yourself in other people's business. That's how a lot of people lose their congregants. Leaders lose their congregants. Yes, you have a, you have an obligation to your sheep. You have an obligation to your sheep, okay? But certain certain sometimes sometimes you can you you as a person. Cannot put yourself in to con- trying to control that person's every move, everything that they do as a leader. Okay, now if they do that, okay, and they say if the sh- if one if you got a hundred and one go- you go after the one, okay, yeah, okay, but it's a, it, it is a certain thing that they have to find the person that's left. Has to find that in their heart that they want to come back or they, they have a desire to come back and be in your congregation. Let them decide. Don't chase after folks, please. I mean, you could chase after them, but so far, I said it's a limit to that. Leadership is about loving people for who they are, where they are at the moment. Loving them for who they are, where they're at at the moment. That moment that just you and that person is together. Okay, I know we want to bring souls to God. Okay, I know that's our job. Okay, 
My and, and, and God says to Joshua, this is the these are the responsibilities I've given you. You have to take care of these children. You have to do with these children. You have to do everything with these children. And sometimes it requires us to do above and beyond. Go above beyond. It's about loving on someone. Loving on them that they understand that life is what you life is all us together. Loving on them unconditionally. It says, whosoever he, whosoever he be that doth rebel against thy commandment and will not hearken unto the words in all that thou commandest him, he shall be put to death, only be strong and of good courage. You know, want you know. He God is giving Joshua these these um these commandments. Joshua's new leader now. Joshua has the has to put his big boy pants on, and we're gonna see what Joshua do next. All right, everybody says you know you got you got to you got to um you you gotta. Until the Lord giveth your brethren rest, yes. Help them, guide them, teach them, um, and love the love them unconditionally. But if he does not do what he's asked to do by the commandments, sometimes you but leadership is also about letting go of people. Everybody, sometimes you gotta let them go. Let 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 Lord let the Lord bring them back into your fold. You know, everybody not perfect, okay? But you have sometimes you have to leave them. Leave. Sometimes you have to. You can lead them. You can lead them to the water, but you can't make them drink, as they say. Okay. I want to say it's been a pleasure and an honor. Day for me to talk talk about this in the now. This in the now. And it is the book of Joshua, chapter 1, 1 through 18. I want to thank y'all for coming in and listening to our new season. Our new season, our new season, our new season. It is a new season, season 7. Season 7 of Daily Devotional. I we just had a two year anniversary on this podcast. It is two years old as of June the ninth. We had an anniversary, you know, and 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 everything is such a time of celebration. Um, my birthday is July twenty fourth. Which is tomorrow, which is tomorrow. July 24th is my is my birthday, and I'll be 51. Thank the Lord for that. And I want to say thank you to everyone that gives me strength and honor to bring you this word. And I love you, and I will talk to you later. Bye, babies. Hello everyone and welcome to LBM TV. I am Sharice Johnson Moore, owner and CEO of LBM TV. Here at LBM TV, our objective is to give you programming that will invigorate, motivate, and inspire you. Our programming will provide you with insight, in-depth knowledge, and solutions in your daily living. We can be seen on every smart TV, smartphone globally. We're located on C1 Media Smart TV app, Apple TV, Roku TV, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, and Google TV. So get 
ready to enjoy a positive, uplifting program for your daily living here at LBM TV, where we care about you. Thank you. 